Peter Thiel, who is a private equity slash venture capitalist, Peter, T-H-I-E-L, who also has a book that uh, they were going to debut. Anyway, he asked the question time and time again of entrepreneurs, which is, what opinion do you have that other people do not have? What do you believe that other people do not yet believe? What basically he's trying to do is he's trying to figure out people who are ahead of the curve and back them financially. Uh, it's, it's in venture capital in, in PE, it's called seeking alpha, seeking alpha. What I believe is that at South by Southwest you can absolutely host and rise above the noise and arbitrage it. And but what I mean by arbitrage, and I know that's a complicated phrase that it's money in, money out. That's all it is. Buy low, sell high. I believe that you can arbitrage that by, by promoting an event, hosting an event, doing a launch event, by sprinkling a little bit of money in, and then out is shareholder equity growth. By shareholder equity, I just mean a uh, complicated MBA phrase for uh, make more money because your company is more valuable. Uh, you can't say it that way because it's specific money and it's stock value money. That's why it's shareholder equity bump. Here's a handful of things. Uh, if you're interested in the things that I'm interested in and the things that I'm interested in, I spend a lot of time studying. I'll rifle through a few. Everyone out there still thinks that you have to do a two hour party and South by actually leverages that wrongness, they'll get you to spend minimum 20 grand on alcohol doing an official South by event. It's two, year, two, two hours of open bar, not necessarily the best thing ever. Next point, doing an 11 minute party. What, what kind of reaction do you get when I say an 11 minute party? tweet at me, but a lot of people say, oh, that seems strange or that seems different. At South by Southwest, you can't have a two-hour party. If you do have a two-hour party, when you have it, 7 to 9, 8 to 10, 10 to 12, 5 to 7, every one of those time slots, there's somebody more important with a larger budget hosting something. And you're going to go head-to-head? -head? Don't. Next point, which is going to parlay and cascade off the last point. Do a party within a party. Do a conference within a conference. Do a game within a game. This is how to win. You can just do an 11 minute party where, where you are doing an after party event. And it's critical because with this 11 minute party, it's actually called a less than minimum viable party, LTMVP. And what your minimum viable party is doing is gathering momentum uh, because work has momentum. In the old days, it was only money that had momentum. Nowadays, good work done well can actually engineer up a wave of momentum, which actually cascades and uh, transitions nicely to the next part about the 11 minute party which is blogging about your own event using a, another formula that my mentor taught me which is MVBP the minimum viable blog post the minimum viable blog post that pushes into the part of the formula for your 11 minute party because I have the minority opinion that my 11 minute party can actually create more value for attendees, for multiple parties, for uh, connections, for uh, me and my stock, the people that we partner with, by using this that again ties in to minimum viable blog post and less than minimum viable party. That is EUTWM. PPM. Let me repeat that. You want to grab a pen, write this down. 
It's EUTWMPPM, and it stands for, it has a hashtag, it stands for Engineer Up a Tidal Wave of Momentum Perpetual Promotion Machine. Let me repeat that. You know what? Rewind. EUTWMPPM marries up your Eventbrite event, ties it with your WordPress, with your PlanCast, disclosure I sold that company uh, two South Bys ago, uh, WordPress, uh, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. So all these things tie into your 11 minute party. Now at this party you want to corral a camera, ideally a digital camera. <laughs> yeah, take iPhone photos, load them up into Flickr, okay, because if nobody documents your event, your event never happened. Now, you've got an 11-minute party, and let's take specifically, which is the next point, is the party within the party concept, or a sequel, which is a great thing to do. A sequel to a startup, a sequel to an event. The sequel concept is the patented, when I say patented, I mean the Larry Chang signature maneuver of doing an after party. To the point where if you are having a party, if there's no Larry Chang after party, after your party, your party, it's not good. That's why I get the 77770 buck appearance fees that I pre-negotiate. Does that sound douchey? It's not. Um, the after party is where your 11 minutes takes place at a party across the street from the original party. So you want to try to do what Charlemagne did, which is leverage the environment around you versus uh, not. I mean, the environment's all around you already. Why not take advantage of the, the earth, the wind, your trees? That's what Charlemagne said. Uh, let all those things, including the birds, be my allies. Charlemagne, he's also the third generation of, of great leaders, Pippin the Great, um, Charlemagne, third generation entrepreneur, leverages the environment. The after party, oh, you're going to love this. When you're doing an after party that's 11 minutes long, this is what happens. Your after party is this formula. It's a anchor, it's a satellite to somebody else's anchor. And you're augmenting that anchor in a value added way. So let's say there's a party, like let's say the, the tech set party. And let's say that's Friday, uh, March 7th. You, when you're RSVPing to a party, you say, hey, would you like a fill in the name of your name after party? In my case, I would say, would you like a Larry Chang after party with that? And they can say no, or they can say yes. But most of the times, most people don't like to say no. As much as they like to hear yes, especially if they're trying to find you because you cross the chasm from the right because people that are hosting these parties they're spending tens of thousands of dollars they want to meet you and you ideally are a technologist who has a decent product that also has distribution and that's what these live events are for is to, to hack and get distribution i know i've waited till 809 into the video but hacking distribution and growth hacking that's what we're working on. When you're RSVPing, would you like it? Would you like? Would you like an after party with that? Oh, by the way, and this is what you're saying now. Oh, by the way, I also wrote a blog post about your event. Now that you know who I am, because I Gmail alerted Brian Solis. I Gmail alerted Mark Cuban for. I think he's got a TV show. Oh, what's that called? Shark Tank. That TV show is on Friday. Maybe you can DJ them together like a root, root, root song. Would you like an after party with that? So that's the, the, the pattern that you're doing is anchor plus a satellite. And if, you're, if you've got a $150 budget or a $217 budget, in fact, there's this article I wrote called How to Launch at South by Southwest for $217. In addition to it, I wrote different tips how to launch at South by Southwest on a shoestring budget. These are Googleable, so you can go back, rewind. And in GigaOM, yeah, I know, I write there too. How to launch at South by Southwest for $880.
880-217 is in Business Insider. Shoestring is on VentureBeat. There's a whole host of other things that I'm launching. Very specific ideas. The idea that you're doing isn't just an idea, it's an executable, which is you're now doing a satellite event. Now, let me take you through what happens when you're doing Anchor plus Satellite and you're doing these things and you're executing. And a lot of times people say, well, what's the net net result? I don't know, but there's a lot of momentum because you'll be getting a lot of work and you're doing work and work in and of itself has momentum. What happens invariably when you set an 11 minute intention for an event is other people who didn't do any of the EU, TW, and PPM stuff that you learned out of Engineering 145 at Stanford University, all of a sudden say, hey, let's partner. So mergers and acquisitions for a company is tough. Doing M&A for a party, okay, and combining it, a lot easier. I did a, my first party M&A was uh, Canaan Partners, where I had a after party that was head to head with a $2 billion venture capital firm. And we combined. And it's under the website www.duck9.com slash 20 slash 200. So duck9.com slash 20. And another site is duck9.com slash 200. And what you're doing by doing an M&A with a party is you're leveraging the fact that you saw this video. And via this video, you can get acquired. Your party can get acquired. And my mentor taught me that you should get paid while you're getting paid. And if your party gets acquired, you actually got paid to launch, which is the subject of a Harvard Business School article on Harvest called Let's Do Well at South by Southwest, SXSW, this SXSW which is bit.ly vc0311a, as in alpha, little a. What you're trying to do is you're trying to get paid to promote your internet startup. And I'm looking forward to uh, seeing your work and your tweets. If you want to reach out, I'm just on Twitter, at Larry Chang, and the hashtag is EUTWMPPM. But if you Look up on South By or After Parties, you will see.